Hi there and welcome to another The Einschlag video. Today Gregor and I are going to show you what to watch out for when you want to buy a sword. Uh, Gregor is going to demonstrate some key points, so let's get to it. Now first, please note that we talk about the Central European longsword from the mid-15th century. Regarding weight and length, historical there was a lot of variation, but we tend to use swords weighing about 1.5 kilograms to about 2 kilograms, with 2 kilograms being on the hefty side. The length of the blade should be about 90 centimeters, with a grip about 30 centimeters. The grip should be so long that you can hold the sword comfortably with both hands, but end up with some space between the hands. Moving on regarding balance. For a balanced longsword, the center of mass or pivot point should be about two to three fingers away from the cross guard, although this is subject to personal preference. A good indicator of the general stability and balance is how the blade behaves when you hold it at the pommel and gently move it from side to side. The tip should not move about but stay in one place. For a blade that you actually want to use for fencing practice, the blade should be flexible, but not too wobbly. If the blade is not flexible at all, Chances are the steel is either too brittle or the blade is too thick. When you buy a training sword, you should go for a sword with a rounded tip for safety reasons. For the same reasons, the edge should be no narrower than about 1.5 to 2 mm. On a final note regarding prices, obviously there are no upper limits, but in Central Europe you can get a decent sword for training or for cutting for about 260 to 350 euros. So there you go, a couple of tips on buying a sword. And we hope we could help you if you want to learn how to actually use a sword. If you want to learn historical European martial arts and sword fighting, please check out our sword fighting tutorials on YouTube. You can find them in our channel.